Hey guys, today we're going to look at some slab mini products from Arcade PCB. They sent us not one, but two of their controllers. Am I in heaven? <laughs> one is the slab mini all button controller Pico V1.3, and the other is the slab mini Brook PS5 edition. I've used a slab mini before, so first impressions are good and in line with my expectations. These are acrylic sandwich style builds, and unlike a lot of other portable all button offerings, these utilize full size switches. Peeling back the film, we get to scope this sweet Scooby themed artwork. I worked with Hugs and Giggles for this, and the dual art means that they should look great together and apart. Now, these are review copies of these controllers and came without caps, but a normal customer should expect clear arcade caps installed and ready to go. I like clear a lot, and I find that color actually works the best with all the customizable lighting features that you can enable. When it comes to the dimensions, we can see that the footprint of these is identical to the original model. There's a marginal difference of thickness and weight based on the underlying hardware, but it's all pretty negligible, and these things are all about the same. You can see just how similar when looking at the previous iteration we already featured in a video from a few months back. When you remove the six screws with an Allen wrench, you can more easily see that sandwich construction. Jinkies, that's a lot of layers. The benefit to this style is that they can accommodate full-size switches. That really helps to set this brand apart from a competition with more potential switch options. You can also get laser cut art to go on top and bottom. I went with just the top art for these, but here are some quick steps to make sure that you submit the artwork without issue. I already mentioned that a user should expect clear MX arcade caps by Sino Arcade when they place a traditional order from arcade PCBs. However, for these, I elected to use a different color and decided to go with an orange hue to bring back some mystery machine aesthetics. You can find tons of color options for these caps on AliExpress, which is where I grabbed these. Then simply line them up on the switch, press down firmly, and they install easily. The button art areas are magenta and blue respectively, and I thought that orange would look nice with both. Now that the caps are in, let's see how they sound. Those are LTC crystal similar reds. They are full size switches and feel very good. However, if you'd prefer something a bit different, you can easily install whatever you'd like because everything is hot swappable. Now, I like these particular switches, but maybe in the next Arcade PCBs vid, I can demo a quick swap to something a bit different just to help viewers who might be unfamiliar with the process. Note that just like the USB-C cable, a switch puller doesn't come with this kit, so you'll need to invest in one yourself to perform the swap. At a glance, the builds are nearly identical with only a few minor differences. The Brook PS5 option is visually a bit simpler because it doesn't have the flashy light pipes and all the cool web configurator options of the GP2040CE firmware like its brother there. In addition, that Pico model is also the one that comes with that cute little screen. If you are so inclined, you can change the button colors of the Pico version with a few simple button presses, and I'll link the web page for more customization options in the video description. There is a lot of potential. However, in this video I want to focus on that little OLED screen just because I love this feature and wish more companies out there took advantage of them. It defaults to reading button press inputs, but you can also change the splash screen to something fun and custom. GP2040CE contains a built-in web-based configuration application which can be started by holding S2 when plugging your controller into a PC. Then type this into a web browser to begin configuration. The screen is a monochrome display with 128 by 64 resolution. We can utilize pre-existing options or create our own. Here, I'm going to change the screen to follow these footprints already on the art. You can also invert the colors after the fact with the configurator tool. Then, I'm going to set a timer, say 25 seconds before it defaults back to the inputs, and then make sure the splash screen is toggled to enabled. Save and exit, and we should have a cool little screen that fits well with our Scooby aesthetic. Doesn't that look classy? I played on both PS5 and the PC to demo each. They both performed well and as expected. Both models were very responsive and I encountered no issues with either, timeouts or otherwise. And I've said this before in previous videos, but I do really like the slickness and feel of these MX arcade caps over the 3D printed caps we see in a lot of other all-button builds. 
they really kick that premium feel up a notch and make sliding onto the buttons easier for less typical inputs and just have a better overall texture in my opinion. I also really appreciate the density of these sandwich style controllers when compared to many other flatbox style offerings. They seem to have a bit more weight to them beyond what you would expect just by looking at them. It's a bit thicker than other all button devices and definitely has its own flavor. Looking at these next to a few other offerings out there, you can see just how that footprint compares and probably lands closest to something between a flat box and a JFA Micro. Now, when you check out the Arcade PCB's catalog, you'll find that the Brook PS5 model offerings are not produced as often, but the huge upside is that this most recent iteration of the controller includes a pass-through slot. What that means is that you'll be able to buy these currently listed Pico ones and then install a Magic Boots V1.1 device or similar dongle and then you'll get access to PS5 fighting games with no timeout issues. This works great because the price point is very reasonable but also because now you won't have to choose between PS5 compatibility and the cool color and OLED features of the GP24CE firmware and its web configurator options. You get to have your cake and eat it too. If you want to pick up one of your own, check out Arcade PCB's Etsy shop. And stay tuned for a future demo of some of their larger offerings here on this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.